Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, it looks like you're uh, taking a chance over there. There might be somebody out there that's about to help you uh, to sort things through. You might be going through um, a situation where there's a lot of competition around you and you're needing some kind of helping hand to get through it. You're feeling very, very lonely, but you're also very, very focused on your work as well at this particular moment. So this is the Hermit card, and this has taken control of your situation. But also, uh, you know, maybe you're involved in a lot of study, and that is why you're spending a lot of time with yourself. Uh, it seems like you're praying quite a bit over here. You've got source over here coming in, so a lot of helping hand coming in, uh, a lot of helping energy coming in from the universe, really. So in the past, you have the abundance card over here, so it seems like there's been some kind of uh, input in m from of money for you, really. Uh, you've got the King of Pentacles over here. This might be somebody supportive, or you know, you could have even started a new job where you're earning quite a bit of money over there. Uh, there's been a, a big change in circumstances for you. You've got the thunderbolt over there. So there was a big dramatic change, uh, a big shift in energy going on over there. So something has come in that caused a bit of drama for you. Uh, and maybe this is the reason why you've needed some kind of help or support. Now, going into the future, you've got clinging to the past and stress. So you are thinking about the past quite a bit. So whatever this... Um, Thunderbolt card or whatever the tower brought in for you uh, has left you feeling a bit uh, unhappy, um, maybe a bit betrayed as well. And, uh, you know, looking at the past and, and looking at uh, where uh, people have let you down, you are crying a little bit. There's a lot of disappointment with this. Uh, this is the Five of Cups. So it is thinking about the past quite a bit. You can see you're in your head quite a bit there with that box over your head. And uh, maybe, you know, you're just focusing on the things that you have lost. So something has happened where you've ended up losing quite a bit. And you're in a very stressful situation over there. You've got that seven of rods over here having to defend yourself in uh, whatever's going on. Trying to get your balance back over there. Juggling too many things at the same time over here. Uh, you know, feeling as though, you can see this little monkey's got a gun in his hand over there. So feeling as though, you know, you're on your head is on the chopping block over there. Or something is, uh, you know, gunning you, if you like. So you are feeling very, very victimized over there uh, during this particular week. So, um, you know, dwelling too much in the past and feeling very, very stressed out about whatever happened, whatever that loss is, and having to defend yourself quite a bit during this particular week. But you do need to ask for some help, some divine help over here. You've got that source card over there, and uh, this is how you will get your energy, and this is how you will be able to cope. Um, there's a lot of spiritual insight coming in as well. Uh, and maybe you do need to just withdraw a little bit uh, from whatever's going on, from the drama, in order to focus and to center yourself again. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm using the um, Anna K Tarot for the main week. bottom of the deck you've got the ace of cups so there's a brand new beginning in for you here so this could be uh, you know in your work this could be a new relationship this could be just moving on to a whole new situation changing the way you're looking at things this woman's pretty much by herself so you are feeling pretty alone and you're making a decision on starting something brand new moving in a new direction so like i said this is about maybe leaving something in the past that didn't serve you and having to go it alone right now um but you know you are getting uh, emotional fulfillment will come to you and even though it feels like it's the winter of your life right now because you can see there's a lot of snow on the ground over here this tree is bare right now and she's sitting alone at this um at this water edge over here you know you're thinking a lot about the past as well but you're coming up with a new plan a new emotional stability in order for you to get through the situation so what's happening with you? You can see having walked away. So you made some kind of decision with that two of swords. Now, this could have been a legal situation that happened where there were, may have been a decision that you made in order to move forward and start something brand new. You've got the new moon starting over there, but you've got those two swords over there. So this could have been something legal that happened. This could have been a divorce or sep some kind of separation, something where you've made a decision and you are moving forward and moving away from it. You're closing that uh, chapter of your life, it seems. You've made that decision and you're moving on. Um, and I say that 
because you've got that Ace of Cups over here, so you've definitely decided to move on. Below that card, you've got the Chariot card over here, and this is also about traveling away from it. Uh, uh, you know, uh, the Chariot is ruled by Cancer, and that is about the home life, so you might have separated and moved off uh, from this particular person. You've got also these two birds flying off. Um, you know, it's you get that impression that they've, um, you know, the winter has come here, and now they're moving as well. So you can see that you've actually ended the circumstance and you are moving on from it and you're walking away uh, from whatever has been going on. There was a lot of drama in it, got a lot of waves, so you've been um, very traumatized by it, very emotionally upset from it and you're making plans for the future now. Looks like you're going to leave things behind. There seems to be still some kind of obstacle or barrier, uh, you know, preventing you from going forward, but you're definitely making plans. Maybe you even want to travel away from it, fly away from it. You could see that bird going there. So you're definitely making plans and trying to move off with that page of rods. You might be trying to find a new job somewhere else. Now, it was that tower moment. This is uh, this appeared in the um, energy read, so it's here. Uh, so something very dramatic has happened, and there's been a lot of loss. You may have had lost your job. You may have lost your home. Uh, you may have even lost a relationship, but something really dramatic has happened. And this is uh, you starting brand new again with that fool. So in the past few months, you've actually taken on, uh, you know, you've left that past behind and you're starting a fresh, you're making a fresh start here, really. So it could have been a divorce. This is the Three of Swords, and you can see this woman has got that Two of Swords in her hand here. So you've got that Two of Swords. That decision has been made, and you are now walking away from whatever's happened. Like I said, this could have been a breakup of a relationship, you know, a loss of a home, uh, and you moving away from that circumstance. Now, going into the future, you've got that Knight of Cups. So there's an offer coming in for you here. This could be an offer of love. If all of this is about relationships that you have broken up, then this is definitely an offer of love coming in. This person bringing in uh, a bunch of roses there, so some kind of gift coming in. They could even be uh, somebody making an offer to you or even, um, you know, even bringing you a bunch of flowers. But there's definitely uh, some kind of um, offer coming in or some kind of relationship coming in with that Knight of Cups. Now, you've got the Six of Robbed, so whatever you've gone through, you are going to be victorious in, and there's a lot of recognition for whatever you've been doing. So if this is in your work situation, there's messages coming in that's going to bring in a lot of happiness and a lot of joy, but there's also a lot of support from a lot of people around you. Now, you've got the Empress card, and this is how people are seeing you. They're seeing that you've been through a lot, but you are very focused. You're very strategic at what you do, but you've also had gone through a lot of transformation and a lot of change. And uh, they see you as somebody, you know, they can rely on or somebody that, you know, is very, very approachable. Uh, that is how they're seeing you at the moment. Your hopes and fears, you've got the Knight of Rods, so you might be thinking about traveling and working uh, or, you know, doing something where it takes you away from wherever you are at. So you might can, maybe making an absolute uh, fresh start, a complete clean break from this, and this is what you're hoping to do. And you are thinking of travel because you've got that Three of Rods over here, so you might be thinking of actually just leaving it all behind and going and seeing the world, really. You can see the Three of Rods. You might be traveling with friends or you might be, uh, you know, um, leaving everything behind and going off with friends with this particular uh, three of rods here. There's also something brand new that you want to start, a new project. So you might be going into even business. If this was the end of a business relationship, then it looks like you know, you've know you ended that circumstance and you, it looks like you're going to make a fresh start, uh, take on a new project as well with that three of rods. This is about travel, co collaboration, meeting people. And you've got the Four of Cups, um, you know, it's going to bring you uh, a lot of abundance, really, and a lot of stability. Uh, you can see all of these people sitting down to eat over here. So uh, whatever you're going to do now, it's not going to leave you lonely. You're going to be meeting a lot of people, getting along with a lot of people. It seems like you might even get bored doing that. <coughs> Maybe you are bored at the moment where you're at and you want to do some travel or you want to change the way things are going with that Four of Cups. So you might be waiting for some kind of offer to come in as well with that Four of Cups. Now you've got the Magician, you are trying to manifest things. So you are working very, very hard as, as far as trying to bring things into uh, fruition. So you are trying to maybe bring in a new job. Maybe you put out a lot of um, uh, application forms. Uh, with the Magician, it's also about traveling or being very, very busy. So that's coming up for you. So you're going to be collaborating with a lot of people and you're going to be pretty busy with that Magician card over there, using all your expertise to do things and also manifesting everything that you want to manifest. So you're going to be working pretty hard. And things are all looking forward because everybody's facing forward. 
you know, you are moving towards the future. So once this decision has been made with that two of swords, it looks like things are going to start opening up and you're turning your back on the past in all of these cards and you're moving forward. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Angel Tarot. And there is going to be victory. You've got that six of rods over there. You're going to get a lot of recognition for what you've done or what you're doing at the moment. So don't be afraid to do it. So you've got uh, the seven of water over here, which says a complex decision, the need to do research, stop procrastinating. So you will have to make a decision. Here you are trying to decide with that page of rods. Uh, you need to do some research with that seven of water. So you've got a lot of choices available to you, uh, but you do need to uh, do, you know, make a decision. And it says stop procrastinating. So uh, you know, don't be afraid to do it. You've got the nine of fire, which says don't give up. Protect what you have created and have courage and believe in yourself. So this is all about self-confidence, making a decision, making a choice, and having, uh, you know, the guts to actually do it. So, you know, taking the bull by the horns and doing it. Um, it looks like there are difficult people that you're dealing with. You've got the dragon over here. Uh, but, you know, you're going to be able to sort through it. You're going to be able to overcome it. You just have to have the confidence that you can. And you've got the king of water over here, which says, open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy, heartfelt advice. So it looks like somebody is there to give you that advice. And you've got the knight of, knight of cups over here. So there might be that offer coming in. And you've got the king of water. So somebody giving you some advice, or this could be the person that, you know, you might have some kind of new relationship with. This could also be, you know, you might be thinking of doing some further study or embarking on something that involves further study as far as your work goes or even a job being offered to you that allows you to do further study. Uh, this could also be, you know, you get into some kind of position of authority as well. So it's time for you to move on. Stop procrastinating. You have come through the worst right now. It's time for you to walk away. You are going to be very victorious in whatever you do. And you've got the magician card over here. It's a brand new beginning for you. And you will be able to bring the things that you have in your mind uh, into fruition. So uh, things are starting to look up for you. So don't dwell in the past and don't cry about it. It is a new phase beginning for you. Like I said, there could be travel. There could even be a new home even a new car with a chariot card, but something brand new coming in there with that Ace of Cups. So um, I hope this reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.